BitClavier has proven to be useful for exploring, learning about, and creating with varying approaches to tuning. And this is the first of a series of short tutorials um, exploring tuning in BitClavier. Now, if you aren't familiar with the technical details of just intonation, the overtone series, and so on, I recommend checking out an online course I made a few years ago, a few years ago called Reinventing the Piano which I've linked to below, or any number of other books and articles also linked below. Some of this just won't mean much without that kind of background. So let's dig in. We'll open up the tuning preparation here. And what I want to focus on today is different ways of monitoring what's going on with tuning in BitClavier so that you can make sure that what you think is happening and what, you, what you're hearing is matching up what's, with what is happening in BitClavier itself. And I want to draw attention to, in this panel here, two different uh, numbers, the note and the interval. And both of these are going to tell us something about the tuning. So if I play middle C here, or an E or a G, what we'll see here um, is this note represented as a fractional MIDI value, where 60 is middle C, and every half step is 1. Then this interval here shows us what the uh, last interval played was. So if I play a C and then an E, it shows that that's with four half steps. Okay, now I mentioned uh, fractional MIDI note values because where this becomes particularly useful is when we are in a non-equal tempered tuning. An equal temperament all of the intervals, the half steps, are exactly the same. And so all of these values here will be integers. However, I'm going to choose a tuning here, just tuning. And I'll go back to equal temperament so we hear the difference. Now back to just tuning here. Now you might have noticed that some of those notes sound a little bit different. And let's play this first chord. You'll notice that over here we have some fractional MIDI values. Um, and same thing over here for the interval. Um, so I'll play C again. The root of this tuning system is C, and this is a just scale. Uh, so there are, a, you know, just intonation, there are many different flavors of it. You can mouse over here to C the different offsets um, from equal temperament um, that this tuning system has. Now, a note about the numbers here. These numbers are actually in cents rather than fractional MIDI values. So a cents, there's a hundred cents per half step. So 50 cents is a quarter of a tone. Uh, so if we mouse over here, we can see that, for instance, the E in this tuning over the C is 13.7 cents um, or 13% less smaller than what, it, what that note would be in equal temperament, minus 13.7 cents. Now, if I play that E here, you'll see that fractional value, 63.863, that is 0.137. So the analogous, this is basically the senses this value times 100, this difference in value times 100. We would expect this to be 64, but it's actually less, 63 by 0.137 less, negative. So that's where this minus 13.7 comes from. So that was a lot of numbers there. Open up BitClavier, check this out for yourself, and make sure that you understand that, okay? so. 13.7 cents flat, that means that the 63.863, these are really telling you the same thing. Same thing with this interval here. I'm playing a major third. Uh, this major third, instead of being four full half steps, it's actually 3.863 half steps, okay? So, bunch of numbers there. Try this out yourself and make sure that you understand what all of this means. I use these all of the time when I'm uh, working with the BitClavier and tuning. Um, 
again, to check to make sure that what I think I'm hearing is, is what's happening for real in terms of the actual numbers and sound, um, to check my work, um, and sometimes even just to find out a specific number if I'm writing a piece of music and I want to indicate in the score how many cents offset from equal temperament a particular note is, I'll come in here and I'll check to see what's going on. Okay, so those two values uh, and this here, we've got cents, we've got offsets from uh, uh, offsets from equal temperament and cents, and then we have fractional MIDI values here. So two, two different ways, fractional MIDI values and cents for looking at, at tuning. And we'll see those a lot in BitClavier, and in general, you'll see those in different sorts of tuning systems. One more window I want to show you here that's going to be useful uh, otherwise, and that is the spiral, the tuning spiral. And you'll notice it tells me, oh, I need to attach a key map for this. Um, so I'm going to close out and I'm going to attach this key map here to tuning. This key map has all the keys activated. So any note that I play will now activate a note in the spiral. So if I play 60, or sorry, middle C, it'll show us this right here. I'll play octaves down see so this little branch on the spiral these are all the C's and then these are C sharps D's D sharps or E flats and so on now actually I'm going to go back to equal temperament here just to make this super clear so you see each one of these playing the chromatic scale corresponds to exactly one of these branches here okay and um, Um, so, and then the octave corresponds to how far up and down or, or inside, in and out, that, 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 uh, uh, that indication is in this, in this spiral. Okay, so um, now if I play an interval, now what it's going to show me, so this is the E, this is the C, and it's also going to show me the distance between those two notes. So this is 400 cents, a major third, so four half steps. And it also is showing us how far off from equal temperament those two notes are. Now we are in equal temperament, so both of these are zero cents off from equal temperament, and they are 400 cents apart from one another. I play a major triad, and it shows those three different notes, C, E, G, 400, 300, and then 700 between the C and the G, the number of cents, the number of half steps, basically. Okay? Now, that's all fine and good. Let's go back to just intonation here and play that same chord. It sounds a little different. And in particular, we see that this is 14 cents flat, so a little bit of the counterclockwise direction to equal temperament. And the interval is 386 cents instead of 400. The um, C to G is slightly larger, so this one is 2 cents sharp to equal temperament, so this interval here is Two, two cents sharp as well to a perfect fifth. And then we have 316 cents between the E and the G um, instead of just a, a straight 300. So this is a really useful uh, place for uh, looking at the tuning of whatever particular sonority you are you're working with at any particular time. So uh, to give you a taste of what I mean by that is um, later we're going to take a look at uh, a new type of tuning system called spring tuning. And uh, spring tuning is really fun to work with here. And I'm just going to show you now, you might want to play with this now. Under Action, Import, Auto Spring Tune, this should come built in with BitClavier, so it should be with your installation. If you choose this, it's going to configure BitClavier to use spring tuning. I'm going to explain all of this stuff in a later tutorial. Don't worry about it right now, but what I do want to show you, you'll notice now that these, these springs actually, I've called them springs already, these notes actually move. So they change over time. Right? So you can hear them change over time as they're essentially optimizing their tuning. And I'm showing this to you now because this particular display, the spiral display, is super useful for just trying to figure out what's going on when you're running spring tuning. Okay, so there we have it. We've got uh, fractional MIDI note values. We've got sense offset from equal temperament. We've got the spiral view and uh, just a little taste of spring tuning.